In this tutorial we will be making tassels on hairpin loom. This is a beautiful embellishment for any of your projects. For work we need an adjustable hairpin loom, a crochet hook, a clip and two balls of yarn. Here on my loom I have 10 cm distance between the prongs. I have already attached the yarn tail to the bottom bar and the right prong of the loom simply by making two knots. Now rub the yarn around the loom 10 times to have 10 loops on our left prong. Here we have 3, 3, 3, 1, 10 loops on our left prong. The rest of the yarn I'm moving to the side like this and let's fix it with a clip. Now we are ready to work with our other yarn and a crochet hook. With this yarn make a slip knot Now hold all these loops on the left prong together, insert the hook around and single crochet. Now make four more single crochet stitches around all these strands. With this single crochet stitches, we are holding the strands together to create a tassel. Here I made 5 single crochet stitches around the loops. Now let's continue chain 5. 1, 2, 3, Four and five. Now work a puff stitch around these five chain stitches. Repeat yarn over and pull up a loop around the chain stitches five times. One, two, three, four, and the last time five. You can do more or less times. Now yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook and chain 1 to secure. Now bend this puff to the front and single crochet through the first single crochet stitch. The first tassel is ready. To begin the second tassel, again we need to rub the yarn around the loom 10 times and then work the same with the crochet hook in the second yarn. Here I have three tassels ready. As you can see I didn't do any chain stitches between the tassels. Let's take a look at the back of our work. I've already cut the yarn, I made both tails of my orange yarn the same length as the strands of my tassels and I hide tails of my blue yarn. Now let's see how to work an additional crochet on top of our tassels. You can work on the loom or you can remove the tassels of the loom and then continue. So make a slip knot, then insert the hook through the first group of loops and work a single crochet through. Then chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and Again, work a puff stitch around this chain, repeat yarn over and pull up a loop 5 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, and the last time 5. Then yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook. 
and chain one. Then continue with a single crochet through the next group of loops. Again, chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. And work a puff. Repeat five times, yarn over, pull up a loop. One, two, three, four, and five. Then yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook and chain one. Then single crochet through the last group of loops. First row is made. Now turn the work to the back and continue with the second row. Make eight chain stitches, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And single crochet through the single crochet that is in between the puffs. Again, chain eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and single crochet through the next single crochet made through the group of loops let's turn to the front and see what we have now our tassels are ready Here I made four tassels the same way shown in this tutorial. For fringe I used Angora yarn and this time I did more rubs for each tassel. The top part is made of golden yarn with Lurex. I love this combination. You can leave our bottom loops like loops actually or you can cut them on the band line. I will cut them but not straight. I will make a zigzag line on the bottom. And now our tassels are completely ready. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe.